Pro-life Democrats say that Joe Biden is snubbing them. Kristen Day, the executive director of Democrats for Life, wrote an opinion piece for The Wall Street Journal last week calling out the presumed Democrat presidential candidate. And she joins us now with more. Kristen, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me on today. So it's fascinating. You've got this dilemma. You don't want to vote for President Trump, but you also consider Joe Biden to be the most pro-abortion president in history. How does he qualify for that, in your view? How does he qualify as being the most pro-abortion? Yes. Um, look at the Democratic platform. It is the most extreme platform that we have ever seen, uh, going so far as to repeal the Hyde language, to um, you know codify Roe v. Wade, there's no space made for pro-life Democrats. And there's really a, a message from the top saying that we don't want pro-life Democrats in the party. It's really interesting. I remember uh, I was at the Democratic National Convention in Denver in 2008, and there was a lot of centrist uh, conversation then, if you will. But in the Wall Street Journal piece, you're saying that you've been unable to access the party and specifically we're not able to testify to the platform committee. What is going on in your party? I don't know what is going on. They have lost all sense of what it means to be a big tent party of diversity and inclusion. You know, we worked with uh, President uh, Clinton on the platform. We worked with President Obama on the platform. And President or Vice President Biden just doesn't want to hear from us at all. And in fact, doesn't seem to want our vote. So next week, of course, is the Democratic National Convention. What are you hoping for next week? So we are going to be there in Milwaukee. We're having a town hall, virtual town hall on Monday. And um, I tell you, I have never seen a more motivated group of people than the pro-life Democrats right now. They're really frustrated with the party. Um, they are frustrated with Vice, Vice President Biden. And a lot of them are thinking about staying home and not voting at all. Oh, wow. So you write that roughly one in three Democrats consider themselves pro-life, according to Gallup. What do you see these people doing this fall? You mentioned that some of them might stay at home. What, what, what are the conversations like right now? Right. You know, a lot of them look at the Democratic platform and, and say, how can we vote for this, this person? And the fact that Joe Biden has not made one ounce of effort. You know, the pro-life Democrats are not asking for much. We say we want a place in the party for us. And right now there is no space. He's making no effort to try to get our vote. He's making no movement to moderate even just a tiny bit on, on abortion. In fact, he's going the other direction. So I, I, you know, I think a lot of people are going to stay home. Um, they don't want to go vote for, for President Trump, but they may not come out for Biden in the fall. Is there any issue that you see there being some wiggle room that might be an inroad for you when it comes to abortion, an area where you can agree with the Democratic Party or, or come together in some way? When we worked with President Obama, he we, we worked on finding common ground and trying to find ways where we can provide support for pregnant women to not seek abortion. But unfortunately, right now in our party, it's just they want to celebrate abortion, get rid of health and safety regulations. They're not really protecting the women. They're protecting the abortion doctors and the then their profit margins. So, you know, the party needs to come back and, and look at what safe, legal and rare that Bill Clinton talked about and trying to reduce abortion that President Obama talked about. We're just not even close right now. All right, Kristen Day, appreciate your insights. Thanks for your time. Thank you.